Welcome to Gaming News, a show where we talk about the latest in gaming. And today, we're going to be talking about, well, AI saving single player games, DICE having troubles with Battlefield, uh, the PlayStation Store sale for spring, and Sony refusing to sell Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Yes, that dropped. It dropped, uh, I believe, uh, last week or this week or so, out of nowhere, just kind of out there so you can buy it if you'd like to. Uh, now, first and foremost, we're going to be talking about this. The AI says, Gaben sees single-player games making a comeback against multiplayer thanks to AI. Now, what that means, it's not talking about AI in multiplayer. It's talking about games in single-player. Uh, so, what they were actually talking about is saying that... You know, as the AI is developing and becoming smarter and more intelligent, they're going to be able to release single player games that are more competitive or just, you know, more impactful and just harder to play or just have uh, a different set of mechanics, according to to him, to Gabe, uh, which is the founder of Valve. Um, and something that's really interesting about this is that he talks a lot about just how the AI development is and how they're going to be able to. How they could create these intellectual kind of life forms in a way, which of course would cost hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions, of course, to develop them in your computer or whatever to develop these AIs. However, there's of course problems with that. There's a lot of people in the tech industry that pretty much say, hey, you know, uh, developing the AI to a certain extent, uh, you know, may not be in, may not be the best thing for everyone here. Of course. It just won't be because uh, there's worries that it could take over the system and cause a lot of problems. And basically, we have a po an apocalypse going on, a post-apocalyptic world we could live in because this AI is taking over and because it could become sentient. There's a lot of problems that, that come from it. Uh, I suggest you look online to find all that stuff because it's really crazy what what's uh, transpiring. But he's saying this AI develops in video games. Uh, he says that he could look at, you know, maybe up to 400 hours of gameplay in one of the things. But who's to say what exactly will transpire? Uh, we'll actually have to wait and see uh, just how they develop the AI. Because, I mean, if you look at different games, AI of works very differently in, in certain games. Some AI is more intelligent. They're able to do more. Other AI isn't as much. Uh, they're just kind of like bullet sponges. Uh, so, with that being said, it's you're kind of left in with this dynamic of, well, should we push forward with this or should we not? If you push forward, yeah, you'll get these other really complex and amazing games. However, will they, with the AI being smarter, what's it going to do to your experience? What's it going to do to the world? You know, that's something that, you know, I think someone else may be able to answer that. Not me necessarily, uh, but yeah, it's something to kind of think about and see what exactly the pros and the cons uh, to this. Uh, but yeah, I think we are going to see better ride, better gameplay. And just in case you're wondering, you may not know, God of War was recently announced. Okay, we'll get to that soon. Uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just mention it, you know, just some news there for you. And, yeah, I think the AI is going to be very, very incredible for that. Because uh, they really amp up the AI for that. All right, next up, we're going to move on to, well, this is DICE. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the AI and AI development. Do you want them to develop the AI even further? Are you scared of there being, like, an apocalypse or, you know, something going on about that? Or do you think that's not going to happen? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, uh, for Battlefield Five, uh, so apparently, obviously, you know of everything that's happening, the pandemic that's occurring right now. Uh, Battlefield, of course, has well. There's some things that haven't been, you know, some technical difficulties. Apparently, there people are talking about, well, why aren't there, you know, events or double XP, especially with what's happening right now. And of course, uh, they're having troubles as well. They're trying to make sure that they would fix it. However. You know, they're probably doing this from their homes now, uh, isolated and stuff, and trying to communicate with one another. But making this far more difficult. I think people need to be understanding of these times. I know that EA doesn't have the best track record, 
But these people, these developers working on these games, I mean, you got to give them some damn credit, man. If they're still working on games and trying to get it to you, then just be patient. I mean, they can only do so much, especially with the conditions that are, you know, going on right now. But yeah, a lot, they're talked about it. They said that they're working on, they're trying to do something. They're trying to make sure that everybody gets, you know, what they want and stuff like that. But it's just so difficult. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on with Battlefield. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to be talking about, well, PlayStation Sale. There is a PlayStation Store Sale going on here. And I'm not so sure if this is like, I don't know how big this is. I mean, there are other games, obviously, that were on sale for March. And March had a lot of wide selection, which I even purchased. Uh, I was actually able to buy... Uh, some good games I was able to buy Injustice 2 freaking legendary edition and as well as uh, well Assassin's Creed Odyssey which I haven't played one since well Assassin's Creed 3 uh, but yeah there's a wide range of selection of games that are really good if you if you're looking for games to kind of delve into uh, I would honestly recommend the Witcher 3 uh, complete edition if you haven't bought that already if you've bought it and have the DLC too, then, well, you're already set. But also, God of War. God of War is a great game, and these two games will definitely give you a ton of hours, and they're only $15. So that's kind of something to, you know, look forward to. If you're looking for something else, there's a Star Wars, haven't played that. Death Stranding, I purchased that, as you can see, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. It's an all right game. It's mediocre. It's like maybe a seven, it's a, you know, good game. But not one that I would kind of recommend. And especially with, like, what's going on right now, like, this pandemic. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd recommend this one. It's it's just not something that, you know, you'd want to do. But, yeah, God of War, Witcher 3, definitely hit it out of the park. Uh, there are definitely other games. There's one that I want to... Uh, obviously, Days Gone, that would be freaking... Post-apocalyptic, what's going on right now? Yeah, Days Gone is definitely uh, a choice for you. It gives you hundreds of hours of gameplay. I played it for so long, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's also, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, it's $40, but hey, Days Gone is only 20 There's also No Man's Sky. They have a bunch of updates for that, if you're interested. Uh, if you haven't played Last of Us for some reason, it's available for $15. So is this Arkham Collection. It has all three Arkham games. Not the really not the one that I like though. The other one that I like, uh, but yeah, it has those. There's of course Borderlands Three. There's also Borderlands the Handsome Collection, which you can actually buy for about fifteen dollars. Uh, Borderlands Three Season Pat Jesus no. Uh, there's these games Skyrim. I'm pretty sure you played that Doom, uh, for eight dollars. That's a great fucking deal. Proud of my French, but yeah, it's a great deal. Dead by Daylight. The Outer Worlds is it's 40. Uh, yeah, Game of the Year, uh, Fallout 4. If you're looking for another one of those. There's Assassin's Creed Triple Pack. Uh, so, if you're looking for games like that, those are definitely available. Uno, so you can play with a bunch of people if you'd like. Uh, or is it A Way Out? The, the list goes on and on and on. There's different types of games out there. Some that are really good and some that are kind of, eh, you know, not so great. Just going to say it. Some are not so great. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you're looking at this, if you want to, if there's some games that you are honestly interested in, or if you're just going to kind of wait, um, right here, hands of Borderlands, hands collection. This comes with a bunch of the games, a bunch of freaking games. I think it's, I think it's just one and two, but it comes with like, oh, okay. It says right here, includes definitive versions of both Borderlands 2 and Borderlands, the pre-sequel built in specifically for next gen consoles. Highest fidelity, so yeah, so you get that stuff, and you get some ultra HD thing. I mean, that's what it is. Go ahead. Apparently, I guess you can play up to four players split screen, so that's something that I mean you kind of should look forward to. That'd be pretty cool, especially if you want to you know play couch co op with people. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about you know all these games? Are you interested in any of these games or? Or you're just kind of like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to wait for something else. All right, so let's move on to the next news, which is, of course, 
Sony refusing to do something. So what I'm going to do here is God of War 2. Uh, here, because they actually talked about this. So apparently Sony refusing to sell uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered in Russia. Now, it's not going to appear in the PlayStation Store. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to purchase it. If you're from Russia and watching my video for some odd reason, well, yeah, you may not be able to purchase it. According to this, uh, there's actually a mission where you gun down on a bunch of people. I played the mission. Um, I don't know if it was as impactful as people thought it would be, but some people, there was like a lot of controversy because you gunned down a bunch of people at an airport. Uh, so, yeah, a bunch of innocent people. So, it's up to you whether you're interested in the game or not. Maybe you get it imported if you're from Russia. If you're from Russia, what do you think about this? What do you think about this game? Do you want to play the game either way? Are you interested in it? Apparently, back in the day, they actually took that mission out from the Russian one. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you, you want this game or you think that, you know what, they should, Sony sh should not care. They should just release it. And let people play it as they want to play it. Because, uh, I mean, you were able to kind of skip the mission if you wanted to. They gave you that option. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, and uh, if you're getting this game, it's remastered. Have not seen the gameplay for it. Haven't seen really anything about it. It just came out of nowhere. But maybe that's why. Maybe it's not that great of a game. Who the hell knows? But let's move on to the next one, which is God of War. I'm not sure if this, I don't know what the hell this is. So let's look at God of War. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, so let's see if something pops up. Uh -huh, hopefully something does pop up. Uh... Yeah, apparently right here it says God of War 2 is coming out. They finally kind of released something. Uh, the alternate ending is freaking amazing. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend seeing it. Uh, it's really cool. So, yeah, they said they can finally confirm that God of War 2 is coming out. It's in the works. And you can see what's going on here. It's Thor versus... Kratos, they're fighting on the serpent, and of course, spoiler alert, uh, Kratos' son is trying to get the axe, which belongs to his mother, his wife. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think about that. Are you freaking excited for this? God of War Part 2 coming out for the PS5, not the PS4, freaking sucks, but it is what it is, coming out for the PS5. So let me know down, down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this? Are you going to be getting the... Obviously, you're going to have to get the PS5 to get this. But are you going to dish out that money? Uh, I would say wait until this game comes out. And then spend the money. Just saying. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave all your comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Visit my Patreon. Dinero helps me, me know, make money on YouTube. <laughs> the easiest, stupidest way I could put it. Uh, yeah, so go ahead. If you want to support me, go ahead and visit Patreon. Uh, have, I think I have tears. I don't know what I have anymore. I just did a thing. So, yeah, visit it, and then we'll talk about it, whatever you want. Uh, and, yeah, uh, for more videos, click down there. Made an awesome music video for the Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think it's called uh, Turtles for Light Turtles, you know. Turtle, it's a turtles video. It'll be down there. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and please stay safe and lave sus manos. All right, take care. Bye.